The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service added the American alligator to the endangered species list in 1967. Twenty years later, the reptile was considered recovered, so they removed it from the list. But at Fort Benning, officials say they've been keeping an eye on the reptiles to make sure the population there doesn't decline. James Williams has more. A seven-mile stretch of the Chattahoochee River runs through Fort Benning, Georgia. It's an area home to several threatened or endangered species. On any given day, you might see a wood stork or two. On this day, we were looking for alligators. They're no longer threatened, but the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has asked the states to monitor the reptiles to ensure their population remains stable. Once a year, Mark Thornton, a threatened and endangered species biologist, motors out to the Chattahoochee backwaters to count gators. We're going to go to one of the backwaters. It's a cypress, not a cypress, but a dump swamp. And uh, lots of alligators up in there. It's real shallow, a lot of lily pads. And uh, we should see 20 or 30 gators up in there. During his last survey, Thornton says he spotted 46. The reptiles were threatened in the 1960s due to aggressive hunting and habitat destruction. The gators survived extinction in the mid-1980s because of federal protection programs, habitat preservation efforts, and a reduced demand for alligator goods. Gators have found a safe haven at Fort Benning because no one is allowed to hunt them on the installation. But occasionally, people do come in contact with the reptiles. When thousands more soldiers arrive at Fort Benning in the coming years due to BRAC, you can bet there will be more encounters. It's not a major concern. There's probably going to be some more interaction, and we may have to relocate a few problem gators near the rec centers and in some of the larger ponds. Monitoring alligators at Fort Benning is not time-intensive, but it is important for the continued preservation of the animal and the safety of residents there. James Williams, Fort Benning, Georgia.